Well, a lot has happened since January 9th. I'm standing on or walking on a sidewalk that was blocked off just last month. But you can see that businesses here in the Mercer building and next door like Niche are still closed. Unforeseen challenges and insurance issues putting the brakes on reconstruction. From fire to ice, a January explosion put the Mercer building through the gauntlet. There were challenges, um, some like we've never seen before. The old market watching as the corner of 11th and Howard is slowly put back together. Assistant City Planning Director Jay Davis says we're just months away from seeing some tenants move back in. The floors have all been put back in, the building's been stabilized, it's now structurally sound. Right before Thanksgiving, the sidewalk on Howard and all of 11th Street reopened. A relief for shops around the site who say business has been hurting. People would come in through the passageway and then they'd go up to the front door and be like, oh, we can walk out here. Some hurting more than others. Market House owner Nick Bartholomew says his building, which also houses Niche, is still dealing with mold and air quality levels are not safe to be in. I don't really don't think we're any further than we were six to eight months ago. Bartholomew says insurance money covering rent and his employees' salaries is cut off after a year. That's less than a month away. It means more problems. It means now that these people that, you know, have been loyal to us, um, that we've been paying, you know, all along, have to now go find different jobs. But Bartholomew says he's not giving up along with the owners of Niche and Nouvelle Eve, promising to be back. If the market house was here, it will be here, and it will be open soon. I'm told some businesses are struggling with insurance. There's also the ongoing lawsuit against the contractor and two other companies involved in that drilling that led to the fire. Another hearing is scheduled for next week. Reporting live in the old market, Camilla Orti, KETV News Watch 7.